93 Eldorado. Nice old cars, man. I like these. Um, AC doesn't work. Um, I've had my hands into a couple of Cadillacs, so I think I know what to do somewhat. The compressor won't fire up for some reason. There should be enough refrigerant in here to make this thing run. All right, the only current code is this AO47, which is actually low refrigerant charge, so that's probably why his AC is not working. Um, I, I hooked my... I hooked my gauges up to it and it says there's pressure in there, but it's probably not enough to make it work. So if, it, if there's not enough pressure, it just shuts the AC system down. So um, I put my tanks on there and I put a little bit in the cold side. I don't want to put too much in there because I don't know how much is in there. So I'm going to clear all the codes in this car and I'm gonna try to turn the AC on and see if it wants to work and see if I can charge it up so what I gotta do is do the off power thing again let it run through its junk Okay, it says PCM question mark, so I want to hit fan up. It says PCM data. So then I want to hit I want to hit the down button until it says clear codes. And then I want to hit the fan up button. And it cleared all them codes. I think I want to hit Oh shit, I didn't want a snapshot. No, 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 no. Asshole. Alright, I'm gonna start over. I'm just gonna go through all of it again. PCM data. PCM clear codes. Code's clear here, yeah, and then I think I want to hit the off button. Off, IPC, and IPC, hit the up, clear codes. Hit off. Oh, ACP. Clear codes. Off. Off. And then back to PCM. So all the codes should be cleared. Try this again just to make sure everything happened. No codes, no codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ACP Clear codes
There. There's no freaking codes. I did it. Try this again. Make sure nothing stupid happens. No, nothing. No, nothing. No, nothing. No, nothing. So I cleared all the codes. Now I'm going to see if my AC wants to work. I'm going to check my system pressures and um, I'm probably going to end up putting some in. I looked for a leak. I didn't find anything. It's probably got a super small leak. I might have filled this up a year or two ago. I don't know. But yeah, I, I waved my magic wand around the sniff. I got a, I got a sniffer for refrigerant I I couldn't find a leak so if it's on here it's it's super super small so I think I'm just gonna try to fill this up and send him on his way for another summer yeah I'm gonna try to see if this is gonna work yep I heard it this high side pressure just sucks his low side's too high and his high side's too low. That's telling me right there that this compressor is not working the way it's supposed to. Maybe somebody did something wrong to this when they installed it. Okay, so I drained the refrigerant and uh, I took a little oil out of it. And that's what I got. I get to look at that and go, what the hell is that stuff? And what's that crap floating in it? Um, yeah, I'd say, I don't know, I probably got, I don't know, two ounces out of here. Um, this is a 134A retrofitted car. 1993 was our, an R12 car, R12 refrigerant. Somebody retrofitted this and put 134A in it. Now from the looks of this, I would say somebody might have put mineral oil in here. Which is a huge no-no because mineral oil does not mix with 134A. Mineral oil is for R12. So when you retrofit, you're supposed to put POE or ester oil in it. Um, this is, this is kind of good for both. It even says right on the bottle, maybe used for retrofitting R12 and 134A.